Hello guys, today I will show you a new thing released in Laravel 8.43 that will help you to prevent so-called n plus 1 query problem and will help you to improve the performance of your application. So pretty typical problem for those of you who don't know what n plus 1 query is. If you install Laravel debug bar and load the data without so-called eager loading, it may result in a lot of queries, queries to the database. So for example, if you load a list of transactions, as in my case, transaction belongs to a location, and then in the controller, you just load all the transactions, and in the blade, you want to show the transaction location like this, every such call would actually fire a query to the database. To prevent that, all you need to do is load that relationship here with location. And then if we refresh our page, instead of 53 queries, we have four queries. So this is how you solve that problem. But how to prevent that problem? There were a few packages to detect n plus one queries. Also, you can always use Laravel debug bar and visually see that. But in Laravel 8.43, in the releases list, there's added eloquent strict loading mode by Mohamed Saeed, the team member of Laravel core team, added enable strict loading. Or later it was removed, if we scroll down, it was renamed by Taylor Otwell himself to this syntax, prevent lazy loading if the app is not in production. So currently my demo project is an older Laravel version. It was created a few weeks ago. And by the way, how to check your Laravel version, PHP Artisan, dash dash version. It is 8.41. Now I will update that to 8.43 or even later, whichever it is now. And it should come with this syntax and we will test it out and I will show you what happens. Okay, as you can see, 841 to 846 at the moment, which is cool. And now let's add that line to the boot method of app service provider. So app service provider in the boot. I've copied too much. So model and probably we need to add the use on top. So this model. Okay. And now see what happens. What if I refresh the page without that? loading the relationship without eager loading. So the opposite of eager loading is called lazy loading. So load the query every time and let's refresh our page. So this one, let's minimize the debug bar. I refresh and I get the exception. So that's the whole point. If Laravel detects that somewhere in your code, there's n plus one query problem, it will not allow you to proceed. It will fire the exception. And that is probably the best way to detect n plus one query all over your project before the code is pushed to production. And since it is in Laravel core, if you upgraded to latest Laravel eight version, I totally recommend to enable it in all your projects. Now, important thing here is that you shouldn't fire the exception on production on live server, right? It should be only on your local machine, your local computer of every developer. So that's why in app service provider, this happens. So if the app is not in production, only then you should prevent the lazy loading. Otherwise, if it happens on live, maybe the performance would be not ideal, but at least the app wouldn't stop and wouldn't throw random 500 error for the user, for the customer. But on your local, only one line of code, again, from Laravel 8.43, can prevent huge performance issues in the future. Also, you can read the full discussion in the Laravel pull request by Mohammed, and then there were a few comments which led to a few changes. So you can actually take a look how new features in Laravel are released. There are a lot of people discussing stuff, noticing small issues, fixing tests and stuff like that. So even though Laravel major version is not changing until Laravel nine in the autumn, Laravel 8.x is really actively worked on and this is the proof. So small feature, one line of code, but may prevent huge performance issues for every one of us. If you want more news on Laravel and tips, subscribe to the channel. And also you can support this channel financially by checking out one of my three products that you can see on the screen now, LiveWire Kit Set of Components, Quick Admin Panel Generator of Admin Panels, or one of my 19 courses on Teachable Platform. See you guys in other videos.